Hi learners, I am your EOT educator Nidhi. In the previous lecture we have seen that how the interaction between two objects is very important for a force to be applied. Now before we start this that is the exploring forces I would like you to recall something. You must have moved benches in your class or you must have helped your mo mother in moving something from one place to another. Now what if you push a bench alone? You apply a force, you apply a pushing force. Whenever you apply a pushing force that bench moves but if it's very very heavy and you cannot push it alone what would you do? you'll call your friend and you'll ask them for help then you both will apply a pushing force and try to move it now when you were doing it alone it was very difficult to move that bench but when your friend helped you in pushing it it moved very easily why this is happening because whenever a force is applied in one single direction that means you and your friend both are applying the force in similar direction that means in this direction whenever both of you or two forces are acting in the similar direction the and there is a enhancement of that force there is the uh, enlargement of that force that means when a force is applied on an object in a same direction it adds to one another that means you can do that thing very easily the force is getting added up your force and your friend's force is getting added up to give a much larger uh, amount of force for it to move that bench away from you now what if somebody is trying to prank you and if you are applying a force in this direction that person is applying a force in opposite direction that means you are pushing like this and that person is pushing in the other another direction what would happen if both of you are of same like body you have same weight and health it might just not move it will be like on one place because the force are on two different directions now whenever a force is applied in opposite direction that means you are applying a force in this direction and your friend is applying a force on this direction on a same object same object is very important on a very same object if a force is applied from two different directions the net force acting on that particular object is the difference between the forces applied that means if you are applying a force on in this direction and you are hungry you don't have a lot of energy but your friend he had taken a very good lunch and he's very good built them nice then what will happen your friend will have more energy and it will push that particular bench with a great force now what will happen the force acting on that object will be more from your friend's side that means the difference between the forces of you and your friend will act on that object the one force which has greater magnitude or which is greater will act in that direction that means you are pushing this side your friend is pushing this side your friend is pushing with a greater force that means the movement of the object will be in this direction so if the two forces acts on same object but in opposite direction the net force acting on it is the difference between the two forces now as i told you if you are if you are hungry you are tired then you would apply a lesser force but your friend who has taken lunch and very good build that person will have more, that person will have a ability to apply more force so a force could be larger or smaller now that's not the only criteria as i told you if you try to push a thing away from you and your friend is also trying to push it away the one which has which will apply more force will uh, will be able to move it in a better way but as i told you if you apply force in two different directions in two opposite directions then there will be a opposing force that means these two forces are opposing and the one which applies more force will be able to move the object so this there is a property which we say that the 
strength of a force is expressed by its magnitude as well as the direction that means in order to apply a force it is important to know its magnitude that means the amount of force as well as the direction of the force the direction in which the you are applying the force that means you are applying a force if you want to push something in opposite direction you are definitely up going to apply a force but in what direction are you going to apply the force if you want to move it this direction you will apply force like this but if you want to move this in this direction you would apply it like this you won't go like this only because there is a directional nature of the force whatever direction you will apply the force it will move the object in that particular direction so a force has both magnitude as well as directional properties thank you